Hi there, it's DJ B, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make realistic and easy veins on your model horse customs. This was a frequently asked question, but this technique was actually stolen from Raven Maddock of Chrysalis Studios. The medium I use to make veins is Pabio Cern Relief. Not sure if that's pronounced correctly. And the one that I have is the color imitation lead. It comes in a variety of different colors. It doesn't really matter what color you get. I picked the lead version because they didn't have the translucent one. It shows up a little better if it is a darker color, so that's entirely up to you what color you want to use. This is a product that is used in glass making of some kind. It dries to a firm enough consistency, but it's almost like a little rubbery. So if you do mess with it, it will kind of move around. It has a fine point needle head, so it's easy to use. It's going to take some getting used to when you first get this to get a consistent line and a line that's not too bulky or thick. And knowing horses, they have a really prominent facial vein that runs through both their cheek and over the side of their face. So here I'm just applying that to this Hamilton model. You want to make sure that it's not too thick and if you end up with some weird balling in any areas, you can smooth it out with the tip of this product. And then I'm adding the second facial vein here uh, that goes over the bridge of the nose, up to the eye, and down to the nostril. So studying exactly where this vein goes is very important. I would recommend looking at photos for reference when doing this. If you have any problem areas, you can take a fine point nail Q-tip to remove some of those lumps or harsh edges that you're getting because this will show up when you prime the model. So you want to go slow, you want to make sure that they're not disjointed and you should be able to create pretty cool veins. There is another vein that runs along in the armpit of the horse. I like to add this. It's an additional detail that a lot of customizers forget. Depending on if the horse is really elevated and running a lot, the veins will stick out more than if the model is resting. So you can just watch my process here of adding these veins in. There's not much to it other than it will take some practice. If you do mess up at any point, you can just take a piece of paper towel and wipe it off. There's also quite a few veins that reside in the crotch area of the horse through the butt and around the belly close to the genitals. So you can study these in reference images as well. Looking at real horses is super helpful. that are very elevated also get a lot of veins all over their body, especially in their necks. Thoroughbreds are prone to these that are off the track or after a race. They're very, blood. a lot of blood is running through their, their body, so the veins are very prominent. So you can add those little detailed veins as well. This stuff is also a great tool for chestnuts. It creates kind of a textured little glob that represents a chestnut really well, so I love using this stuff for the chestnuts. This technique works really great and we've created some really awesome veins using this awesome stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Give Raven Maddock of Chrysalis Studios a follow and happy veining. Please subscribe for weekly Wednesday uploads. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DJB Studios. Check out my website and sign up to my newsletter to be the first to know about commissions, tutorials, and sales pieces. All of the tools used in this video are in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to message me.